At this moment, I would like to invite our mother here, Pastor Mrs. Shade Badru, to give us the word. Let's celebrate her richly. God bless you. For 60 ain't a small number. It's a big, big number. Very soon we shall get there and beyond in Jesus' name. You're welcome to his presence. And um, you can be seated as just we just worship God with a thanksgiving song that we are grateful. Oh Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful. Oh Lord, hallelujah for all you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful. Oh Lord. Father, we thank you. We are so grateful. That is the song we have to say thank you on behalf of your daughter. Thank you for 60 good years. Father, we are grateful for how far you have brought her. Thank you for where you are taking her to. Father, we are so grateful. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray, Lord, that you speak through me and you speak to us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. It's going to be a very short message. And the topic is beyond the number is the impact beyond the number is the impact and our text will be taken from the book of matthew chapter 5 13 through 16 matthew chapter 5 13 through 16 you are the salt of the earth but if the salt loses its flavor how shall it be seasoned it is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled under foot by men you are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Tell the, your neighbor, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven beyond the number is the impact we want to say a big congratulations once more to our mommy uh mommy gloria at 60. i saw those pictures i was telling the sister i said i saw her denture so beautiful i said in six years time i'll be 62. i said i have to go and fix my denture Amen. So beautiful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we congratulate Daddy too. It's a long journey from 1988. That's a very long journey. We congratulate Daddy, all the children, their grandchildren, and the entire family. And also our dear mommy, we congratulate you. That's the elder sister of our mommy. We congratulate you. The Lord bless you. 60 surely looks good on her. Because those pictures are amazing, beautiful pictures. Many, many more years to come in Jesus' name. When we celebrate birthdays, it is not just the number, but the faithfulness of God in a life of impact. And I'm very sure that if mommy could look backwards, that's why I like your goodness is running. Your faithfulness of God can never be looked at as anything small. God is faithful. If you look back now with all the pictures, we're like, wow, see where, how far he had brought us. From that 1988 that you married, at 1988, I don't think you ever thought you would be in America at your 60. Because that is why we do not know what God has in store for us. What we just need to do is to follow his footsteps, to follow his commands, to follow his instructions. Every true Christian is designed for a life of impact. Joseph was in Egypt. He made a life of impact in Egypt. Though he was a slave boy, but at the end of this, he became a prime minister. Daniel in Babylon, the same thing. Esther in Shushan. 
Deborah in Israel. And let me add that Mommy Gloria in Nigeria on YouTube all over the world. Amen. She's making a life of impact. And I'm quickly going to mention a few characteristics of a life of impact. A life of impact preserves from destruction, just like the salt. When some people arrive in a place or in a marriage, the thing gets better. As soon as the daddy married mommy, things began to move, be better. And when some people get into a place, what happens? It gets worse. Some people, when they enter a group, you will know they have arrived because the group will scatter. That's why some, pe some people, they are on group of WhatsApp. You just removed so, so, so. The person is causing, causing trouble. They remove them when they are causing trouble. But a life of impact is a life of peace. Somebody that is peaceful, anywhere he, the person steps in, anywhere she gets to, it's better. Look at the picture of 1988 or the picture of 19, 2024. Is it not better? Let's appreciate the Lord. And thank God for a, 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 a life of positive impact. And we thank God for our daddy that God has been also using to bring her up, up to this day. We thank God because we cannot but to also congratulate daddy. When mommy is celebrating, daddy is celebrating. When daddy is celebrating, mommy is celebrating more. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Number two, a light of impact shines in darkness. You know, just like light shines in darkness, a life of impact is progressive. Anybody that God has chosen, we all need mercy and grace like we saw in the theater or in the drama. Every one of us, we need the grace of God to, be, to keep going. And the Lord Almighty will keep progressing our lives in the name of Jesus. It's a life of, that is progressive. In 1988, I don't think you ever knew that you'll be on YouTube. You don't even know what, we, they don't even have you. How much of tube? But now, life is progressing. Children of God too much progress. The last time uh, Dami came and went to, uh, for a dinner, we were believing God for a one million subscriber. And within a week, you got the one million subscriber. It's a life of progressive. Anyone that is impact, I'm sorry to say this, that you, but since Dami started producing a uh, movie, that's when I began to watch. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Monzion, but, but my husband is a fan, is not my one fan. Because all the incantations, sometimes, you know, I don't get it. But when Dami started producing, that's a life of progress from daddy to son. It's progressive. Let's appreciate the Lord. That is progressiveness. It means when you arrive on a place, there's light. It's shining. A life of impact shines that light to gather people for the kingdom of God, not to scatter them. If look at what the Lord is doing now, if, I'm sure that if he was in Nigeria, the crowd would be ten times of this that we have. Because they would say, ah, Mommy Gloria is having a, a birthday party, we must be there. Even if they don't know her, they'll be there. So a life of impact gathers people, gather people together. And people want to see people that are progressive. They want to hear from you. They want to hear your testimony. For many people, rather than gather for Christ, they scatter the gathering. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. When they show up, they say, ah, she's coming. Everybody on your heels. But when you have a woman of God, a woman of impact, when she calls people, they will answer. Because they know there's something that she's going to learn from her. That's a life of impact. Who you are determines the life you live. People know you by the life you live. They may not tell you, but they know the kind of life you live. We, we, are not, we, are, we may not be there in their house, but daddy can testify of her life, the kind of woman she is. An upper cannot live the life of a Ruth. 
Ruth will go all the way until the job is done, but Opa will abandon the program. She, <laughs> she did not abandon the daddy when they were using foot wagon everywhere, from here to there, there to there. She did not, some women say, sorry, I've suffered enough. Because they don't see the future. Only God knows what he has for us in future. For some people, they are chicken on the barbecue. Before they put them on fire, they have run away. They don't want to get done. Have done. They don't want to get done. For you to be progressive, to have a life of impact, you have to get done. God must, there must be something, fire. Fire of God must be within you. So we thank God again for our mommy. It's making great impact around the world. And she will yet make many more in the name of Jesus. What about you? What kind of impact are you making? You need to ask yourself. The tragedy of life includes the eagles that live and die like, like chicken. A lot of us, we are eagles, but we are behaving like chicken. We, 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 we have the power to soar, but we prefer to be picking corn on the floor. The Lord will move us forward. Lions, you know they are cats. But they are different cats. When you talk for cats, there are cats and there are cats. There are cats in the house. House cats. You cannot compare that kind of cat to the cats in the wild. So we have to be a person that roar, that people see and say, wow, a child of God is coming. He must make a life of impact. A life of always desire to bring positive changes. To people, when they meet you, your life can never remain the same again. I'm, I, I know if we give everybody microphone to talk about what mommy has, how she has impacted our lives, we'll not live here tomorrow morning. I know that a lot of people are also watching on the, on the internet. Let's welcome them. Let's thank God for their lives. As I round up tonight, are you a cat like a lion or a cat like the one in the house. When people see the one lion, they know that no, this is a big cat. Or are you a chicken or eagle that cannot fly? A life of impact always desire to bring positive changes. But the celebration is more than the number. But the impact, what have you done? Some people live... I was listening to a man of God one day. And he said that the woman that he was a witch before he converted, that the lady that converted that was a 19-year-old girl, the body girl died at 22. But at that 22, she had converted more than 30-something big witches. And she said her assignment was done. It's beyond the number. Beyond the number is the impact. Let us live a life of impact and not just the number. And I say congratulations again, mommy. More impact. The next 60 years, I'll be there too to celebrate you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The almighty God will continue to strengthen you. The children, the grandchildren, and all of your children, home and abroad. The Lord will bless them all. God bless you.